Hello YouTube, film student 1895 yet again, and this is kind of a extension to my last video. I mentioned that you can make an iPhone ringtone out of the song that I downloaded off of the Firefox um, add-on download helper. I was wrong, however. I saved it as WMA. You will want to go back and save it as WM, uh, I mean MP3, um, because that is what iTunes needs to be able to read it and be able to use it in iTunes but um, after you've saved as mp3 you're going to want to go to iTunes and uh, by the way you do not have to have a jailbroken iPhone or iPod to be able to do this this can you, I mean you can do this when you get home right after you buy it from the store um, so open up iTunes as I did and I just now loaded Windows 7 onto my netbook so I don't have any music other than the one that I downloaded um, that is right here and uh, step one is complete we've chosen our song step two is choose the part of the song that you want to do I happen to like the very beginning of the song so it's not too difficult for me um, the trick is you have to make it within 29 seconds or lower uh, it will not recognize on the iPhone if it is 30 seconds or more which I've noticed that the iPhone only rings for like 19 or 21 seconds anyway so it doesn't really matter, you're not going to hear it anyway. But once you've selected the song and the part of the song, um, you want to go to right click and get info. And a option window will pop up and you're going to want to click on options. And down here shows when the song starts, which is 0 minutes, 0 seconds, and when the song stops, which is 5 minutes and 12 seconds, and so on. Um, like I said, I like the beginning of the song, so I don't have to change the beginning. And it has to be within 29 seconds, so I'm just going to put 0 minutes, colon, 29 seconds. And hit OK. So when I play this song, it's only going to go from 0 to 29 seconds now. Excuse me. Um, now that we have done that, you want to right click hit create AAC version. Right down here it's going to say converting. Right up here it's not going to take too long. And it's going to make a 29 second version of the song that you have made. Um, go back to the original song just for the heck of it. So later on down the road when you're listening to it it doesn't stop at um, 29 seconds. So you you can actually enjoy the song later but once you have this AAC version you want to right click and say show in Windows Explorer and it will actually bring up Windows Explorer which some people don't know but that is the actual um, the window that you use to navigate around your folders that window that you use is called Windows Explorer but it's going to open up the file location of the song that you have uh, that you have changed, um, you probably won't see this .m4a. That's the file extension. Um, normally, is made to where you don't see that file extension. And I'm going to show you how you can see those file extensions because we're about to have to change it. You're going to want to go to Start and Control Panel. And whether you have XP or Vista or Windows 7, it does not matter. It's all done the same way it's just a matter of getting to it. It's normally under appearance and personalization and folder options and this is going to pop up. You're going to want to go to view and make sure hide extensions for known file types is unchecked. Yours is probably checked. Mine is unchecked. Apply, hit OK close out of this and bring the Windows Explorer back up. You're going to want to rename and all you're going to have to do is hit backspace to delete the A and put R. And I like to remember you know R for ringtone. It's going to say if you change file name extension the file may not become or the file might become un uh, unusable. We don't care because I know for a fact that it will be usable so hit yes 
if you're playing the 29 second clip it's actually going to stop you and say cannot change the file name because file is in use so just make sure you're playing some other song if you want to listen to music so you can change this file extension but you're going to want to bring back up iTunes and explore at the same time click and drag and drop it into your library and it will then be put into ringtones right here scatman 29 seconds and if you go to your iPhone always takes a little bit to go to your iPhone and if you go up to ringtones you will now have selected ringtones and you'll have to check it go down here to apply it will now sync your iPhone and I promise you 100 percent you will have this ringtone on your iPhone all you will have to do is go to settings on your iPhone with the little gears go to sounds then go to ringtone and at the very top above the standard ringtones you're gonna have a category called custom and I will have Scatman on there and you will have whatever whatever other song you have on there as long as it was under 29 seconds and as long as you change the file extension to to M4R R for ringtone remember that and that is it completely free um, doesn't take too much time and it's not too complicated if you ask me so there you go save your money